Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through February 18th. Considering this is a week of love with Valentine's Day, I've chosen a couple of love oracle decks to uh, get the basis of these readings. So uh, what I want you to do is just take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Ooh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. That's a strong message, isn't it? Wow. There's no need to worry about it anymore. The ex is the ex. It's over. It's time to clear that out of your life. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. It's time to shine again, all right? It's time for you to start glowing so that the new one can come into your life. Now, generally, these readings are for singles or people that are really struggling in a relationship, okay? So I think for many of you, it is. It's time for you to turn the light on, okay? Instead of keeping it off because of your ex, turn it back on, okay? It's over. That time of loss, that time of difficulty, that time of betrayal is over. Okay, it's done. You've already hit rock bottom. You can only go up from here. There was that was a cycle that had to end, and now it's time for you to start a new cycle. I mean, what does the sun, the sun, the moon bring? Cycles. Okay, it was just an illusion, and I feel like you guys have fears of the future. What if, what if, what if history repeats itself? Okay, so I have to tell you that this all happened for a reason, because. I don't believe that this person was meant for you, all right? It, it, obviously, this needed to end. It was just an illusion. This is hidden forces, okay? This didn't work out for a reason, all right? And now you're being called to struggle through this, to really, really let go, to look at this from a new perspective, to look at your future through new eyes. It's really time for you to stop resisting this change and stand up for yourself okay there's no reason to hang around anymore it's really time for you to stand up for yourself it's time for you to get moving take action do it right now okay act now think later move out move away from this situation very quickly release your ex do it because you know otherwise you're just gonna stay stagnant you're not gonna move forward you're gonna continue to live in a period of stagnation where there's no forward movement. I mean, otherwise you're going backwards. Is that what you're looking for? Are you looking to go backwards? I see that you're refusing to, to consider a new approach. You're refusing to consider it, but you've been betrayed. And I think you were dealing with somebody that was just into security, stability, and money. They weren't offering you love anyway. They weren't. And they definitely weren't offering you love with the Knight of Cups reversed. And you deserve more, don't you think? I mean, you deserve relationship growth. You deserve companionship. You deserve to be cherished, right? This person did not cherish you. And now it's time for you to move away from this person that didn't cherish you. A lickety split. Okay? Because I feel like this person criticized you. They may have verbally attacked you. They may have bullied you. You may have felt bullied. You may have felt like you were being attacked even by this person. This person was ruthless. 
all they were thinking about were themselves. They weren't thinking about you in this situation and how it would affect you. And now you may be feeling bitter like it was actually you, but I have to tell you that it wasn't you. I don't think it was you, Aquarius. I don't. I think that you were dealing with somebody who didn't have your best interest at heart. I think there's a lot of controlling, manipulative energy here and that you were perhaps even being used and you know you put your whole heart into it but it feels like you were not you were definitely being taken advantage of it's time for you to clearly remove this blockage remove this block remove this person from your life and move forward okay it's over the worst is over. All you can do now is stand up for yourself. You've been through this difficulty. You've been betrayed, perhaps even lied to. You have been lied to, I mean. And now it's time for you to use the force within you to, sh to show this world what you've got, okay? It's time for you to bring your beauty back and to shine. Like I said, the light earlier, this is shining. It's time for you to raise your vibration and let the world know how vibrant you are. It's time to put yourself out there and for you to focus on you. Okay? It's time. No longer going to sit around and ignore the truth. You know, it feels like there's there could be some passion perhaps coming into your life. Oh, it's right around the corner. Okay, this this passion passion that you could have with somebody else, you could, hence the word could, have is based on your ability to have discipline and courage and confidence and willpower to let go of this situation with your ex okay right now you're blocking new love from coming in by hanging on to this person it's time to let that idea of him or her die let it end it's time for you to recuperate from him or her okay it's and I know that you've been reluctant but once you do it you're gonna feel a huge relief okay it's time for you to be content again it's time for you to have a commitment it feels as though, you know, you have somebody around the corner, and I think that you know who this person is. I think there could be somebody that you know that is around, and they may be interested in you. But right now, you're still hanging on to your ex, and they're waiting for you to be ready. This person that is probably from your past doesn't mean you dated them. I want to make that absolutely clear. It does not mean that you dated them. This could be somebody from a past life. This could be somebody from your childhood. This could be somebody from your hometown. This is simply somebody that you know, okay, is, is waiting for you to be ready. They're waiting for you to shine again. They're waiting to see your confidence, okay? So if you're ready, prove that you're ready by letting yourself shine. It's time for a change, of course. It's time for you to start your new chapter. Okay, it is. Uh, whatever has happened has brought you closer to the one. Good luck is on its way. It's like this is a lucky break for you. The fact that this didn't work out, it's dead and over. You need to release it, by the way. It is dead and over. Once you release it, I feel like you're going to have a new chapter that is going to lead to a commitment. It was destiny. Like I said, there was hidden forces here. It was destiny that it didn't work out because you have this new path right in front of you with a lot of excitement, okay, right in front of you. But the thing is, is you're avoiding it. You are an, avoiding this, this new course, this new chapter, this new commitment by not releasing your ex. It's really time. You need to look at this as a blessing in disguise, but you're not. You really should be looking at this as a, as a blessing in disguise because I feel like some good luck is on the way for you. Destiny is on the way. Okay, what you're destined to do, who you're destined to be with, is around the corner. It's probably an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That's what we have here the most prominently. But the, the you need to let the feeling, the thoughts of the ex die. Seriously. 
because all that was was toxic. You have to free yourself and start your new journey. It was just an addiction. Maybe it was great sex and you were addicted to that. Maybe um, either way. It was something that was false, that you were falsely bound to. All this did was bring um, lies. You were dealing with somebody that was super manipulative and they were into you for sex and security. And now it's time to remove yourself from this toxic situation. Literally break the chains and start your new journey with faith. This is the first card in the tarot deck. This is before they've learned all the lessons. And this is the journey. This is the, I mean, you need to really start a new journey with faith. Stop avoiding this new start. Stop avoiding it. It's much needed. It's destiny. It's meant to happen. As long as you stay stuck and stagnant, wherever that six of swords is, buried, whatever. As long as you stay stuck and stagnant, then this new new beginning isn't happening there is a new beginning for you there's somebody else for you but you're avoiding this new start out of fear not having faith this fear of being let down again fear of making a mistake over again this devil has you bound it's time for you to stand up to this devil the hangman down here standing up to this devil, to this toxic relationship. It's time for you to stand up, okay? And show them how powerful you are and what you're worth. What are you worth? It's time for you to stop being in denial and accept the truth. You are being offered the truth, but you keep ignoring it. You keep denying it. It's time for you to act on your hunches and accept this dare and have faith. There's passion in front of you should you let go. But damn it, you're holding on tight. What are you holding on to? If they're not reciprocating, it's over. It's time for you to accept this truth and release. You have somebody else. You do. But this fear that you don't have somebody else, this fear of being alone, this fear of what if I make the wrong decision is holding you back. That's the devil whispering in your ear. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. There's a lesson that needs to be learned. And your fear of growing old is huge. Growing old alone. This fear of being let down. If I go, I could end up alone for the rest of my life. That's just a fear. Unwarranted fears, this fear up here too. It's time for you to use the force within you and have faith. Replace the fear with faith. This fear of being let down, this fear of of growing old alone that's unwarranted it's just a fear it's not going to happen you have somebody else and I think it's a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius and I feel like this person is right around the corner and you know who this person is already but they're waiting for you to take action. They are. This person is watching you, I believe. They're watching and they're waiting. They're waiting for you to make your move, to prove that you're ready. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And turn on your light. Let this person know who's very interested that you are ready. Relight the fire within you, please. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love and let that love come back into your life with somebody else that is going to see your worth. If you just stop concentrating on the loss, you would see that the other opportunities are right here. She's looking at the loss. 
the universe is offering her new opportunities in love. But she's not even paying attention because she can't get over this loss. How sad is that? She has a chance to be happy and she's not even considering it. I'm here to tell you to consider it. That's what I have, Aquarius. Talk to you later.